Okay, so in the previous video I, I explored this concept of getting to a gradient function. Okay, now what that means um, in the grand scheme of things is that you have a way of describing how the gradient of the curve behaves. Okay, you've got this brand new function that describes precisely how the steepness of that curve is changing. Now, in the case of y equals e to the x, the gradient function is actually precisely the same, okay, which is ideal. Now, how about if we extend it? What if we were looking at y equals e to the 2x, for example? Okay. How does that change things? What would be the gradient function of this? Now, to explain that, you really need to, to think about where this is actually going to be coming from. You actually need um, second year mathematics to really explain that via what's known as the chain rule, okay, for differentiation. However, it is a very, very simple tool, okay, a very simple answer, and that will allow us to access many problems without having to go into the whole mechanics that are underlying it, which we will visit later, okay? So don't worry about not understanding where precisely this is coming from. But know full well that actually if you do know this, then this allows you to access a whole host of problems for yourself. Okay? So actually, e to the 2x differentiates to 2e to the 2x. Okay? So you could guess that, well, if I had e to the 3x, it differentiates to 3e to the 3x e to the 100x differentiates to 100 e to the 100x. And of course, you can check this, okay? You can check this on Desmos and see how this works. So, we can generalize this. So if you've got y equals e to the kx, then the gradient function is k e to the kx. And this is a very important thing to remember. Okay? So, taking from this video that you know this, and if you know that, then that allows you to work with gradient functions before we've fully gone through all of the differentiation chapter.